I am on my way to Minnesota. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning when this video is coming out, and I am halfway to my hotel room. And I was going to make a power rankings and release that, and I was going to make a preview and release that, but I said, nah, I don't want to release that. That's not what I want to talk about. I want to talk about the opportunity that we have tomorrow. The Detroit Lions were half a game out of the playoffs last year. And I didn't even realize this because it was so much drama. We started so bad. I didn't even realize that the Detroit Lions were second in the division. It was the Minnesota Vikings at 12 and 5, the Lions at 9 and 8, the Packers at 8 and 9, and the Chicago Bears, whatever record they had. I didn't even realize that we were second in the division. And we have an opportunity tomorrow to win our first, first ever NFC North uh, title. There are. So many things. It's like four things that you know as a Lions fan that you know without a shadow of a doubt. One, we've never won the NFC North. Two, we've never been to a Super Bowl. Three, our last playoff win was 30 years ago. And there might be a fourth one that I can't remember right now, or maybe it's just three. But the Lions have an opportunity to undo all of that tomorrow. And Jared Goff said that <laughs> they don't carry the weight of 30, of 30 years. Yes, they do. He said this is the 20,000... 2023 team, and we don't care. I know what he's trying to do. He's trying to stay loose, but he knows what the city, he knows all about it, the history. Dan Campbell, same thing. Brad Holmes, same thing. We have, we have an opportunity to do something we have not had a chance to do in probably the last 10 years, something like that, and that is to control our own destiny. Last year, we needed so much help just to even try to get in the playoffs, let alone the division. We can do something about that tomorrow, right? I wanted to show you guys something. Here is the list of the division winners since the realignment in 2002. The Green Bay Packers have the most title wins at 12. The Detroit Lions have most, most fourth place finishes with 10. We came very close in 2011. It came down to the last game of the season, I thought, or maybe maybe I'm confusing 2016 and 2014. Maybe it is 2014, where Matt Flynn beat us in 2011, I thought. But either way, either way, we've never won there. So the Green Bay Packers have 10. The Minnesota Vikings have five coming off last year. And the Chicago Bears have four since the realignment. We have a chance to pit right here tomorrow. That win will solidify us being right here. And it's more likely that it's going to go Detroit, Minnesota, Green Bay, Chicago. But these two can flip-flop. But look at this graphic. M most fourth fourth pay place finishes. This isn't going to change anytime soon. Even if we win tomorrow, that's what we're still dealing with. So the Detroit Lions have an opportunity. And like I said, you're watching this, and I'm probably at a rest stop somewhere taking a power nap. I don't know. but. At 10 o'clock, I'm halfway there. And the whole drive there, I'm going to be thinking about the opportunity that our Detroit Lions have. So they need to get this done. And I want all of us to be there to see it. And I cannot wait until we have that opportunity. It was something else, too, I wanted to show you that I hope that I bookmark this so you can see it. I'm going to give you a spoiler alert right now. If you do not want to have this spoiled, do not. I need you to click out of here. But if we win, I went up to Fanatics, and just to be clear, Fanatics did not have the NFC North stuff out. You can have it. But they did give me a clue as to what the hat looks like. And again, if you don't want this information spoiled for you, then I recommend that you leave this video. All right? If you're still here and you want to know what the Detroit Lions NFC North champion hat for 2023 will look like, he said, all you got to do is Google the, for, the 49ers one because they've already won the division and it's going to look just like that, but Detroit Lions. And apparently, there was a Meyer somewhere around here that got a little ahead of themselves and put out the NFC North championship shirts. And again, if you don't want to see this, then click away from this video. All right. So this is some Meyer. And I would have to say that somebody got fired for this, but this is what... The shirt's going to look like pretty underwhelming in my uh, opinion, but I do like the big head players and uh, Jared Goff, St. Brown, and Aiden Hutchinson. 
NFC North Division Champions 2023. And that's what it's going to look like. Now, those shirts have since been pulled off the shelf. And from my understanding, from the guy at Fanatic U, said they can't even, like they cannot sell them until the game is over. And if you have any merchandise, they cannot sell it. If it's a blowout, it doesn't matter. The game has to be over for them to officially be open to selling it. So, but we have an opportunity to do that. And I think that we're going to get it done. There's no doubt in my mind that we get this done. We are going to take the division. Dan Campbell has these guys ready. These guys know what was at stake and they want it too. And I think that the Detroit Detroit Lions are going to come back with, when I drive back on December 25th, I'm going to be part of a team that was division champions with two weeks left. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'm definitely going to be checking in. So keep an eye on my shorts. And when we get to the hotel, we're going to do a live stream as well. So you guys are awesome. Take care of yourself and each other. And as always, Go Lions.